Why is this happening? Why aren't families getting power? Why is there no solid program or infrastructure that's actually helping Navajo families? When I was younger, I would spend a lot of time at my grandparents' homes on the Navajo reservation. It's funny because I thought everyone knew what it was like to live off-grid or not have electricity. And it wasn't until I got older that I realized it's not a common thing and most people are shocked, I think, that so many families don't have power. On Navajo Nation, there's approximately 10,000 households that don't have electricity in their homes. That's a huge challenge. If they're lucky, families have electrical lines coming to their homes. But if they're in a remote area where they can't get access to the electrical grid, they're gonna have to figure out another way to get power to their homes. When we first moved out here, we're just getting used to everything off grid. We didn't, we're trying to figure out what we'd use for lighting. And one of the first things we used was uh, some kerosene, lanterns, and then we upgraded to propane. And along with that, we had candles. We've been using a generator for power and really small solar system that we've been using for lights and also for charging our phones. And that's pretty much, that's all that we have. Okay, so what do we have packed for tomorrow? Well, three, three amp breakers. Native Renewables is a native led nonprofit organization that is focusing on solving energy access to get power to roughly 15,000 families who don't have access to grid tied electricity. And we do that by providing off grid solar installation, education, and workforce training. Navajo Nation has had a long history of coal mining and coal jobs. So it's kind of ironic to know that we are one of the largest tribes to provide coal for electricity in this part of the United States. And yet there's still homes on Navajo without electricity. Ultimately, it's like we're just frustrated for our people, you know, and someone needs to be here to help them. about 100 miles one way from the hardware store or a solar store. So it's good to have a list to be able to pack and kit. I've been doing electrical work for approximately uh, 39 years. I'm pretty much the electrician out in the field, so I'll garner my tool belt to make sure that the home is wired safely. So I believe we're driving in this direction. Yeah. Next stop to 89. According to this, it's probably like hour and a half. Working out in the remote areas, we're pretty much at the beck and call of the weather because there's different soil conditions out in Indian country. You can get stuck there. We have the battery cable. We are trying to be an organization that trains people and invests in them. Our staff is all Navajo and Hopi. Most of our team lives on the res and they're from the communities we work in. I commute to the office and that takes me about two and a half hours one way. It's worth it because we're helping out the Native American families, Navajo families, Hopi families get power. At the end of the day, when we install everything and turn on that light, you could see that smile, you know. You can feel it in their hearts, you know, that it's a good feeling. All right. Ready to go? Cool. Ready to go. All right. Yeah. Let's hit the road. The sun is a critical part of our daily living. Traditionally, we pray in the direction of the sun. Farmers know what the patterns are of the sun and they use that to literally grow life and food for our communities. So giving them the knowledge of solar energy and allowing them to feel that energy independence of being able to manage their own system and own their own power is super exciting. 
How's it going? It's good to see you guys again. Yeah, yeah. Oh my hands are You guys excited to get your house wired with solar? We'll be here for a couple of hours and then hopefully get your house going and then we'll be out of your hair. They've been out here for about three or four visits and every time they give us a little more education on the power system. I'm really happy to see natives giving back to natives. They're all so knowledgeable and real skilled, and we're, we're just so grateful that they chose us to, to yeah. give this project to. Got it? Yeah. Like, if we look at the compass, it gets facing true south. If we get a chance, we'll check the angles so that we can get the most sunlight. We have six children and eight grandchildren. So family is everything, gathering is everything. And the kitchen is often a place where people gather. And that's how I'd like our kitchen, especially like during the holidays. We, we don't have holidays here. So to have more light in our house, that's real important to us is to have people feel welcome. So by this evening, you'll be able to use the switches for the first time in your house. Turn on your wow. lights. Wow, that'd be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> she was saying that you'll come back every year and check it. Yes. And that's like, wow, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's going to be a, a great um, service to us. Mm -hmm. I think it is a joy to see the tribes actually thrive yes. on solar and develop clean energy based on natural resources. When they are able to turn on the light in their home, it's power from the sun when they flip that switch. Wow, oh, wow, look at that. Look at that. That's bright. Yes, bright. <laughs> really bright. It's really bright. To think about how long we've depended on the sun to be able to live. I think it just makes sense for Native cultures to lead the effort with clean energy. It's just so exciting to see that they've used technology to tap their own natural resources for their own energy future. It's just kind of emotional in a way. I'm so grateful. 